going on? But the Cubs have given you a couple of items. What are you talking about? Oh, for your anniversary, look at this. First off, the marquee with congratulations, 25 years lumbering. <laughs> The last thing I saw this marquee was Cubs World Champions. Yes. And you follow that well with congratulations on the record. And if that wasn't enough, it is. you can now put that Cubs sport coat away. Because you have a Cubs game jersey on the other side for your 25 years. You now can proudly wear number 25 just like Derek Lee. And uh, Pete Lecoq. <laughs> His real name. His real name. All right, moving along. Everybody got their champagne, right? Wow. No. No? Well, sure. well, you will. Well, here, you bone brains. Come on, step Because it's time for a champagne toast, courtesy of Tattingers. We have Ron from Tattingers. Look at the size of this bottle. Oh. Is he going to savor it for us? That bottle, Lynn, you may notice. Because you are a gourmand, and you also like to drink. I know it's had your champagne for many, many years. That is a Methuselah. Yeah. A Methuselah of champagne. Yeah. That, is, is, that may be the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Eight bottles of champagne in that one big bottle. Wow. wow. And who's that for? That's for uh, everybody. All of us. Beautiful. It's time to toast you. All it's right. time to drink champagne for Lynn Bramer. Oh my God. And it's Ready? about time, too. All right, everyone. You know, there is nothing like the smell of a bowling alley in the morning. <laughs> it's the smell of a new day and the possibility of a perfect game. <laughs> and we are here today to celebrate the man who lives every day with that same optimism. For 25 years, he's been our best friend. Sorry about that, Mons. <laughs> And the thing with Lynn is that it's true. When you meet Lynn for the first time, it's like you've known him forever. And when he talks to you, he makes you feel like there is nobody else in the room. He can walk into a room of strangers and within an hour, everybody knows him. I went to Florida with Lynn once. We went to see a Bears game. I left him alone at the swimming pool for 15 minutes. Later that night, we go to the elevator. In a hotel, the elevator opens up. It's filled with people and they all go, Lynn! <laughs> it's like they had known him forever. You know why? Because he's curious, he's interested, and he cares about who you are. And this comes across on a daily basis on a morning show, which is not an easy thing to do, but with Lynn, it's genuine, he ain't making it up. When he says it's great to be alive, that is not a phony catchphrase. Lynn knows what it's like to live. He lives at large with an appetite for many things and a curiosity, a sense of wonder, and a never-ending search for the answers to life's questions, especially on uh, Monday and Friday. <laughs> but when he says it's great to be alive, he also says, take nothing for granted. Boy, ain't that true. Because, well, you never know. But today we know. We know that we love this guy and that we never take him for granted. And we, when we can raise a glass and drink champagne in the morning in a bowling alley to our best friend, I think we can all agree it's a great day to be alive. Lynn Bramer! It's very good to see you. We're celebrating Lynn's 25th anniversary. And we are featuring the Rolling Stones. 